Okay, so what? <coughs> welcome to this video. So in this video, I'll be showing you or I'll be teaching you how to install Teams on your website. So it's going to be a step-by-step -step guide how you can be able to install a team on your website. So let's just get started. As you can see, this is how this website looks like now because this team is what is in it inside the website. So what is a team first of all? A team is what gives your website the appearance that the website has. Like for instance, most times you are given an example of a team to become the wallpaper on your phone. The wallpaper on your phone makes your phone to look different. So if you change the wallpaper on your phone, the wallpaper, the phone look differently. So a team is more like a wallpaper on the website, which gives the website a different look. So once you have a team on your website, it takes the website takes the picture, takes the color, takes everything concerning the team and makes the website look good. So the, the team makes the website to look good. So for instance, if I'm going to change this team, I will have a different view or these different pictures and different way this website is going to look. So what we are going to do in this video is how to install a team in this website. So let's do it right now. So first of all, once you want to install a team, you go to go to the back end of your website or the back end of the website. Look, no, your website has the front end and the back end. The back end is the place where the designer is designing, where the front end is, where everybody is seen. So just the same way most times I use cooking as example, we have the kitchen and we have the dining table. So the dining table, everybody comes there to eat, while the kitchen is where people go to prepare the food everybody is going to eat. So. As a web designer, you are going to be doing the kitchen inside your back end. So what we are going to do now, so it's going to, go, go, going to be a two-step. Okay, first of all, we have two ways you can do this. We have two ways you can do this. How to install your team in WordPress. So we have two ways. So the first way, which is this, this is the first way we can do it. We search WordPress team at the we search for WordPress team. We search for WordPress team at the WordPress dashboard. 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 Oh, I got this spelling. Okay. We we'll search for it. So let's do it right now. So first of all, the steps you go to appearance. From appearance, you go to teams. Click on teams. That's the first method. Then you click on add new team. Add new team. So it will show you. It will load the teams that we have in our website. We have up to 7,119 uh, 7, teams for now. We have more than that most times. So all you need to do here is you can come here and search for maybe blog. You can come here and search for blog. You can come here and search for maybe e-commerce. E-commerce. I've seen it. Come here and search for maybe church. I've seen it. You have a lot of teams here. You have a lot of teams. So you can also come here and search for maybe you have the name that you want. Like now, most times now I use Astra. I search for Astra. You can see Astra here. So there are a lot of teams that you can use here. A lot of teams you can use here. So in the purpose of this video, we need to do is just to install one team and see how it will look like. So let me just do something of this nature. Uh, for this, let me just do this. Let me, first of all, I will preview the team. So I will preview the team to see how the team will look like. So see how the team will look like. So first of all, I usually encourage you to look at the rating see what people are saying about the team also. The rating is very, very important. Check whether he's having a good rating. And uh, oh, you are, once you are done with that, you click on install. So installation shows that you want this website to have this team, or you want your, this team to be in your website. So you click on install, ensure you install, install. Without installing, it's not going to be in your website. So just waiting for it to install right now.
before we proceed. So, installation should not take a time. Okay, it has start, start. So after installing, there's something good you have to do also. You activate it. Now, it will take the website's shape to take everything that concerns the website. So let's see. So look at how our team was before. Look at how our website was before. This was how the website was before. So now we have activated the team. Let's refresh this website to see it's going to look. You can see this is how the team has made the website to change. Maybe due to the fact that you are not seeing those pictures, you are not seeing those things now, but the team has taken the another shape of the website. It has given the website another shape right now. So that is the difference between uh, the previous team and the team that we have right now. So these are the teams that are installed in my, my website. So let's go to the second one, which is the second method of installing a team. The second method of installing a team, let's do it right now. Let's do the second method. So the second method says installing team files. So here is going to, let's just do it right now. It said what? Installing team files. So in this particular method, you are going to install team from outside. For instance, now you go to wordpress.org, wordpress.org slash slash teams not plugins slash teams then enter so just the same way we have it there so we can see teams here i'm going to look for any team next let me look for any team that look good okay i think i like this team like this particular team, let me click on it. So I, I can do, or just download this team. Download the team. And in case, maybe for another purpose, you can also go to website and just search for maybe blog. In case if you are doing something like blog, you know, search for something like blog, website, WordPress teams. So you can also come here search for teams but this ones i think this ones are paid version so i paid teams you can also come here and do the same thing once you get this team you can also do the same thing as i did you also come somewhere here you see people are recommending teams to you here this one said recommended teams you can also see teams there are a lot of teams here a lot of teams here so you can also get teams here but for now we have downloaded this one right now. I think it has been downloaded. So all we need to do, all we need to do now is just to upload this team that has been downloaded for us. So remember, in this particular one, we are going to upload. So what we need to do now, we click on Add New Team. Remember, let me take you back so that you see what I did. So first of all, you go to Appearance, go to Teams. Click on add new team, then you come down, add new team, then you click on upload team, then you come down, you see choose file, you click on choose file, then you see the team, then you click on open, then you click on install now. Okay, so the team has, has been installed. We click on what? Activate. So the, our team has been installed and activated. So the one that has been activated for us will be the one that will be the first team that we are going to be seeing here. So let's see how our website looks like now. So we need to see the way our website will look now. But let's refresh the website to see if the team has changed the way it looks. Okay, you can see now. There's another look on this website right now because of the team that we just installed on it. So all we need to do now is just to go back and I, I want to show you how you can be able to delete teams on your website. Let's do it right now. Once you click on the team, see what I did? I click on the team, then I scroll down and I see delete. I did click on delete and say okay. 
So deleting a team on your website makes your website to be more secure and it makes it to be what to be fast also because each team contains a file. So if you delete the teams on your website, it makes the website to be free and also to be what fast. So I encourage you to have only one team on your website. I am not using this one for now, so I'll just delete it. But let me leave it. I, I might use it maybe later for now. Okay, so this is the end of the video. So that is how to install a team on your website. I hope this video has helped you. So